Let's make this project left-handed. Welcome to Sneaky Bonus Part 10. Let's do round 12. We'll change colors one more time and get our the next set of fans ready to go. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth of Thimblehooks, back with Sneaky Part 10. We're going to do round 12 of this. So I'm going to show you one alternate way to change colors and how to increase one more time, just so you get the idea of the way the pattern is going. So here we go. Here's my sneaky alternate way to change colors. So what we have, we have done right here in this color, in the fuchsia, is the same as the center of this one that is a strawberry. We just completed all of the white which is the same as this. So we're going to start up with another round of getting our base going for our next four round repeat. So here's my alternate way of changing colors. Now remember we did before I had you back out of this and finish this loop with the new color. We're going to do it this way in case you prefer the look. I like them both so I thought I'd show them both. So this is a sneaky alternate. We're going to just start in here when we just did a slip stitch and got all of this together right here. Change colors now. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now the sneaky part on this is when you pull this tight, it barely shows at all. Isn't that nice? Barely shows at all. So we're chaining five. So we're going to start the base just like we did here and just like we did here for our corner. So round 12 is a repeat of round eight. We're just going to show you how to do an additional increase because we did an increase right here. There's a corner. Increase and corner. Now you can see here we're going to have corner, increase, increase, corner. So I'm going to show you how to do this next round. Okay, so there's our, so here's our chain five. I'll just pull this down a little bit so you can see that it pretty much all but disappears. So it's a little alternate from down here. Neither of them are going to show very much, but there's an alternate way, so there's actually some new information. So there's our chain five. We're going to skip this chain space and single crochet. Now we just made a five chain space, so that means we have to do a three. Skip this chain space here and single crochet. Chain three a second time. Skip this chain space, single crochet, and chain three a third time. They always come in threes. Skip this chain space, and single crochet. So there's our chain five, and three, chain three spaces. Get my back on here again. Now we have to jump across from here to here, just like we did here. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Just like we did before, we want to be symmetrical. So you skip this spot, this spot, and this spot. Skip those three, single crochet. Boom. Now we did an increase. First increase on this side. Chain three, skip, single crochet, chain three a second time, skip, single crochet, chain three a third time. That was coming threes. Skip and single crochet. And now here's our second increase. See we saw down here we only had one. Down here we had zero. Right here we have one. Now we have this one and right here. 
So we're going to chain five. And to be symmetrical, skip this spot, skip this spot, and skip this spot. Single crochet right here. Right now we chain three because we just finished a chain five space, so we always chain three, skip, single crochet, chain three, skip, single crochet, and chain three a third time, skip, and a single crochet. Let's see, we have two increases on the side here, and now we're back to the corner. I need to get myself a little bit more yarn here. Make it all the way around. I think I have just enough to make it all the way around. So now that we're back at the corner, see we just did three, chain three spaces. So after those three are done, you always do a chain five. Three, four, five. Skip this space right here. Single crochet in here. And since we're at a corner, we need to do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, skip, and single crochet. Now there's our corner. And it follows the other two. It will always have this going diagonally all the way up. There will always be a corner space. So after that's done, chain three, one, two, three, skip, single crochet, Chain three a second time, skip, single crochet, and chain three a third time, skip, and a single crochet. We finished our three, chain three spaces, so that means we need to do an, another increase. That was always coming threes, and then it's time for a five, so chain five, three, four, five, jump across to be symmetrical. We're going to skip this first, second, and third spot right here, and single crochet right there. Just did a five chain space, so we're going to do chain three, skip, single crochet. Chain three a second time, skip, single crochet. And chain three a third time, skip and single crochet. All right, every time you finish those, a set of three, it's time for a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're doing another increase right here. So we're going to skip this one, skip this one, and skip this one to keep it symmetrical. Single crochet into that space right here. All right, now that we finished a five chain space, then we do our three chain three spaces again. One, two, three, skip, single crochet right here. One, two, three, chains the second time, skip, single crochet. One, two, three for the third time, skip, and a single crochet. Now we've got the three chain three spaces. We always are going to do a fifth or a five chain space. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're at a corner, so that means we're actually going to do two of these in a row. So skip, single crochet into that space. Chain five again. Four, see, four and five. Skip and single crochet. There's our corner. Following up, corner, corner, and a new corner. Hooray! Corner, corner, corner. Now we finished a fi chain five space, so that means you chain three. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. Chain three a second time. Skip and single crochet. And then chain three for the third time, because they always come in threes. Skip and single crochet. We finish that set of three. Oops, I need the rest of my yarn. We 
Now that we finish that next, this, there's our corner, finish this next set of three, chain three spaces, it's time for a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Whoops, and five. Means we're going to jump across here, so we're going to skip one space, skip this little space, and skip this little space, and single crochet right here. Now that's not at a corner, because our corner was back here. So it's not at a corner, so we'll go into our chain threes. Chain three, skip and single crochet, chain three a second time, skip, single crochet, and chain three a third time, skip, and a single crochet. We want to jump across, skip, 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 and single crochet in here after our chain five. So there's one, two, three, four or five, just like we did on all the other increases. You skip, 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 and single crochet. Keep it symmetrical. Now we got to, we've just finished a five chain, so we do our chain, chain threes again. Three, skip, single crochet. Chain three, for the second time, skip, single crochet. Chain three for the third time. They always come in threes. Skip, and single crochet. Now we're at a corner again. Corner, corner. So there's our, there's our last increase right here. Chain three, chain three, chain three. After your chain threes, you always chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip and single crochet right here. And since we're at a corner, we need two. So we have to chain five one more time. Two, three, four, five skip and single crochet. Corner, corner, corner. Hooray! We finished a chain five space, which means we chain three. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. Chain three a second time. Skip and a single crochet. And chain three a third time. Remember, they always come in threes. Skip, single crochet. Now we're at another increase area, but we're almost done with our sneaky bonus. Gotta get my yarn. Almost done. We're almost back to the beginning already. See how fast that goes. This is round 12, which is the same as round 8. So again, we're going to chain 5 because we just finished our last 3. Chain 3 spaces, so we're going to chain 5. One, two, three, four, five. Skip over this one, skip this one, and skip this one. Single crochet right here. There's our increase. We finished a five chain space, so we're going to chain three. Skip, single crochet. Chain three a second time. Skip, single crochet. And chain three a third time. Skip and a single crochet. So this is our last increase area. Since we did these three, those come in threes, and now we have to chain five. Three, four, five. And we're not at the corner yet. This is just an increase space. So we're going to skip this spot, this spot, and this spot, and single crochet right here. There's our five chain space, so now we chain three. Skip, single crochet, chain three a second time, skip, single crochet, chain three a third time, Remember they always come in threes, skip and single crochet. And we're almost back to the beginning. There's the beginning, there's our original five chain space. We need another one just like it to complete the corner. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip and single crochet right here in that very last spot. And 
and now I like to make sure that this one is nice and closed up because see there's still kind of an open area right here. We want to close this so it looks like it's a complete round so just slip stitch into the original. And there you go. I'm going to tighten these up just a little bit so you can see our color change there barely shows at all. It doesn't really show down here very much either. So either of those, whichever way you like doing it, I just take these and tie them in a knot and weave in those ends from the first time we changed colors. You can do that every time along. I just left, I just leave them till the end when I'm working on this. And then I tie them all off and I weave in all of my ends at once so I can make sure that all of my stitches look exactly the way that I want them to look. So there's my sneaky extra bonus part 10 with round 12, which is just a repeat of everything we were doing before. It added in an extra increase. That's all. But there's my sneaky bonus change cut with an alternate way to change colors so whichever one you like better they're both basically the same you really can't see anything here or here when you change colors anyway so it doesn't really matter but so thanks for stopping by thank you for supporting my small business please subscribe to my channel turn on notifications so you know what's coming up next and I'll see you real soon thanks bye